So one of my most popular videos here on Zoom is about how to share background music into Zoom. And a question that I seem to be getting again and again is how to do this on your phone. And that is one of those things that I had to test myself because I like to use desktop, my laptop, whenever I'm having to do any kind of ex expert or enhanced Zoom features. And so while that video that I made at this point, probably a couple years ago, is still very relevant and very helpful if you're looking to share background music into Zoom, I am going to show you how to do it on your phone. It's a little clunky and not the way I recommend to share music in Zoom. I would recommend doing laptop, but I will get into it and show you how to do it on your phone. Before we jump into it, I'm Logan Clements. I'm a freelance event producer based in Seattle, Washington, but I execute events here and all over the world. I won't do want to encourage you to like, subscribe, turn on that little notification bell so you get notified every single Monday when I drop new videos. I'm also the co-host of the Better Events podcast with fellow event pro Mary Davidson. We dive even more into some of these topics you see me talk about here on YouTube. Think less on Zoom and more on event management, event production. Those episodes are about 25, 30 minutes long. We also talk a lot about running our own business, freelancing, and much, much more. So give it a listen wherever you listen to podcasts. So this question I've had from a couple of you on my other video about how to share background music on your phone. And this is one where I had to test it because honestly, as I said in my teaser, I would not recommend doing this on your phone. It just feels clunky. It's not going to look the way you want it to, but I'm going to show you how to do it if you had to. Um, this is one where you're going, you have way more screen share features in Zoom desktop than you do on any mobile. So this is your phone, your iPad, anything like that. They do seem to have less features there than they do when you're on your laptop. So let me jump into Zoom. All right, so here's a picture of me in Zoom on my mobile. And you can see on my control bar at the bottom, I'm scrolling over until I can hit share. Then I'm going to, you see all my options here. I'm then gonna hit screen. And you're gonna say it says screen broadcast. We're gonna start our broadcast. So let's take a look at a clip that I recorded from screen sharing some audio on my phone using my Spotify app. All right, so from that clip, you can, can you see what I mean by it being a little clunky? In your mobile app or on your tablet, you aren't able to share just audio only. So attendees are gonna be able to see whatever is on your screen. And that does have a pop-up that Zoom gives you that says it includes notifications. So like if you get text messages, group chats, all of that stuff, it's gonna show all of that. So their recommendation is to put your phone in do not disturb so you don't get those pop-ups. Essentially, the gist of it is that Zoom is going to share whatever is on your screen, your whole screen. There isn't the ability to just, if you want to share audio, for you to then share just a tab, just something, or even again, I love the subtle way in Zoom desktop where I can just share the audio and you're not even seeing my screen or anything. You're just looking at our faces. So this is a workaround, I would say, if maybe if you're more of like a fitness instructor or if you do meditation or something where you don't mind sharing what the name of your playlist is and folks just being able to look at whatever app you're using. But I do find for a more formal setting that it can be a little distracting. And so I would highly recommend following my other video about how to share background music on your desktop. So hopefully that helped answer your question. I'm Logan Clements. I'm a freelance event producer based in Seattle, Washington, but I execute events here and all over the world. I do want to thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.